Nothing compares to like that first sip of some hot coffee. Cheers guys, cheers. <laughs> Welcome back. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whatever time it is you're watching this video How rude hold on. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying, but welcome back to my channel guys My name is Tamara if you are new. Thank you for stopping by today We are hauling cleaning shopping with me putting up our Christmas tree because the holidays are right around the corner And I'm pretty anxious to get my stuff up because that's all I see all over Instagram Everyone's putting their tree up early and after the shit year we've had I think that's quite okay. Um, bring some cheer and some happiness <laughs> into our homes. So today I'm doing just that. I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked up. We are cleaning our apartment today and we are gonna put up our Christmas tree. I'm not gonna decorate in this video, but that is coming in a video in a couple of days. So make sure you watch, turn on that notification bell, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. All right guys, so I did go shopping last week for um, home stuff. I was kind of overwhelmed by all of the Christmas decor that was out because I was looking for like regular home decor, but I should have known better because it is the holiday season and that's what's out right now, Christmas stuff. All different kinds, all different colors, all different themes. So before I show you what I got, I'm gonna insert that footage right now. the Christmas decor was insane I couldn't even film half of it because the stores were so crowded which is crazy because I went on like a Monday morning Wednesday morning type of thing and it was still flooded with people so I filmed what I could um, I just tried to give you a glimpse of everything that they had I know Target I didn't really stay too long in there just because I just wasn't looking for anything holiday um, in there and I didn't see anything else that I needed, but um, yeah, hope you enjoy. This little section was so cute everything was gold and sparkly shimmery I loved it I st stood here for entirely too long just to leave with one frame <laughs> This is the Ross over by Mall of Georgia. If you live in Georgia, they had a lot of cute like tabletop decor items. I was very, very surprised. I actually found a planter for one of my plants at home. Definitely took that with me.
My mom was over here looking at these little black baby figurines. Comment down below if your auntie, your grandma, your mom, somebody in your family had these little figurines in their house. I thought that was so funny that they had such a huge section of them. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this fa la 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 <laughs> Is this pillow from Ross. It was $10. They had tons of these. They had some that said like Merry Christmas, blessed, till tis the season. Um, some that just had like de decorations on it, like a snowman or a Christmas tree or something. But I thought the fa la 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 was cute. So I went ahead and got that just to add a pop of red to our couch. I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of red pillows. And I really have no business buying any more um, throw pillows to begin with. So just grabbed one just kind of tie in everything in the living room then the other christmas item i bought was this christmas tree from hobby lobby so cute hobby lobby also has all of their christmas decor 50 percent off now until further notice so don't sleep sis if you need some christmas decor ornaments for your trees picks whatever it may be go to hobby lobby this was 20 dollars, and i got it for 10 so um yeah really love that it has little detailing on it it's like raised detailing really cute we'll probably put this like on our console table or something by the front door okay also from home goods i'm kind of all over the place with the stores i'm sorry I'm just kind of grabbing things um but this um picture frame so cute and it was only six dollars they had a bunch of them i love it it's so chic looking so expensive and it wasn't expensive um but dj and i both have three nieces and nephews um so i figured this would be really cute i also have two little babies two little guy babies that i care about so um those are our children till we have our own those are our kids and i just want them displayed all over the house so i thought this would be a cute way to kind of display each set of children they also had uh, um one that was horizontal like this so it was wider and it only had two um picture slots in it i think these are really cute they had tons of cute frames so home goods six dollars okay next from home goods let's stick to home goods i got this mat for the kitchen this was twelve dollars it's just a black and white mat Right now I have like really fall themed mat in there and that has got to go. Um, so this kind of ties in with our Christmas decor and I don't really decorate the kitchen because I'm a messy cook so it's not wise for me to heavily decorate our kitchen because everything's just gonna get dirty. So I have this, I'm gonna add some like red mats to the oven and call it a day. Lastly, I got these for our bathroom, just a soap dispenser and a little cup for our toothbrush and stuff. Um, I love the detailing on it. It matches the vase that I actually have in there. So that's why I grabbed it. I'm not too sold on them though. I have to find a tray and you know tie everything together, but I thought these were really cute. So I didn't wanna leave them and be sad when I couldn't find them if I went back. So got these, this was $6 and this was $4. So quite a steal and this was from Ross. So um, yeah, that's what I got. Um, let's start cleaning because I'm really excited to put this tree up. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, so before I actually started cleaning, I went ahead and just took the tree out of storage and put it up because it does shed as you put it up and I didn't want to have to vacuum twice. So I went ahead and rearranged the living room just so I can put that tree in that corner over there. And yeah, our tree is a six foot tree from Target. It was $20. I got it on Black Friday a few years ago and it served its purpose well. It's cute. It fits in our little space perfectly. You know, eventually we'll upgrade to a bigger tree, but this one is perfect. Together with you, 
wanted to go ahead and do some of the fluffing now just so that it'll save me time when I actually decorate the tree. But once I turned them lights on, girl, I was too happy. So, so, so excited. But almost done with this tree and then we're gonna move on to cleaning. <laughs> All right, now it's time to start wiping everything off, cleaning, get into the nitty gritty. Um, do y'all enjoy cleaning videos? I watch cleaning videos so much. I think they're really therapeutic <laughs> for some reason. I, gen I genuinely enjoy them. So I hope if you're watching this, you enjoy them as well. Um, not gonna talk too much. Cleaning is self-explanatory. So just gonna let the music rock and speed clean this house. <laughs> I filmed a little video on how I put together this bar cart. Would y'all like to see that? Let me know. If so, I'll post it. Also, this is the point where I turned on Hamilton because I was cleaning in silence and that's never the move. How oh, does it rest? son of a whore and the Scotsman dropped in the middle of...
can you tell that Hamilton is probably one of my favorite things to listen to? I think you can probably tell. <laughs>
I got this little set, this soap dispenser lotion set off of Amazon, and I love it so much because it's so chic and it's not bulky. It's clear, it matches everything. I love it. It was only about $20. I'll link it down below just in case you'd like to check it out. All right guys, everything is nice and clean. We vacuumed the floor, the tree is up. It's nice and fresh, everything is wiped off. The dust was real. You would think that I hadn't cleaned in a whole year, like ridiculous. Where does the dust even come from? In here, this will get ironed tomorrow. I'm too tired to do it right now. And these are the things that I showed you earlier that I'm gonna put out tomorrow, dusted. I love how clean it looks. It smells great in here because everything has been wiped off. The kitchen is clean. The only thing I have to do is wash a couple of dishes, but I'm gonna wait until after I get dinner ready. In here, nice and clean. Clearly, I'm not done decorating. I need to get something for this wall. I can't find anything when I intentionally look for something. And I just, I'm not sure what I want to put over there. Not sure how I wanna style these nightstands either, but. They're fine for now. Um, over here, same thing. I'm gonna get some flowers to put in this vase tomorrow. If you didn't watch my video on how I DIY this dresser, you need to do that. Nice sunlight in this room. I love the natural lighting that this place gets. I'm not sure if I want to leave this like this because it just looks uneven to me. It looks really heavy over here and really like spacey over here. I don't know. I know switching it wouldn't be a good option because I want the plants to get light from the window and I have another plant that I'm getting so this would be a good place for them but I don't know how I feel about this chair just like I don't know let me know what you think but yeah I'm about to season dinner and clean the shower hop in the shower and I'll catch you guys later all right guys so I was just gonna like come back after dinner was done but People tell me they like when I cook, so I'm just gonna include it. I'm gonna make a quick chicken and shrimp Alfredo business. Got a couple of shrimp, some chicken strip thingies, um, seasonings. This is some Asiago cheese that I freshly grated and some um, grated Parmesan cheese, the lazy way and some garlic and I have some water boiling here. Once that boils up, I'm gonna heavily salt it, add my penne and just get this going. I didn't even realize I did not turn on the stove. So let's go ahead and do that so that I can sear these up and get my sauce going while my pasta cooks. So real quick and easy, simple dinner. I didn't feel like making anything big tonight. Look at how clean this stove is, man. just basically seasoned my chicken and my shrimp with the same things um, some salt pepper I think a little bit of complete seasoning and some red pepper flakes and a little bit of garlic powder nothing too fancy season it to your liking sear them up and then clean your pan so that you can start on your sauce Okay, sis, if you are still using that jarred Alfredo to make your Alfredo, please stop. 
making your own alfredo sauce is super simple. Just melt some butter and saute some garlic for about 30 seconds. Add in your heavy cream or half and half. Season it. I like to use a little bit of salt, pepper, some garlic powder, and some type of dried herb for a little bit of color. And then I just wait for that to thicken. Add my cheeses. Like I said, today I used a little bit of Asiago and some Parmesan. And that's it. That's, that's all you do. Adjust the seasonings to your liking. But that's quick, simple Alfredo sauce that is way better than the stuff you get in a jar. I'm telling you, it's so much better to make your own sauce. I know it's easy to go to the store and grab that jar of sauce. And that's cool, you know, every once in a while. But trust me, you want to make it on your own. All right, guys, that is it. I am done with dinner. About to tackle these dishes and clean the shower and take a shower because I'm tired. It is six o'clock and i pretty much started cleaning at like 11. um so all day process clean the whole place put up the tree took some pictures for instagram made dinner and now i'm calling it a day um dj should be home soon and then we'll probably watch a movie eat and go to bed so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some motivation to clean your houses get it ready for friendsgiving or whatever it is that you plan to do considering COVID-19 out here is still taking lives, okay? So um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please do subscribe. I would love to have you share this video with someone you love. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.